Dear math students, dear youngsters, I am Bedri Baykam and I'm the president of Uluslararası Plastik Sanatlar Derneği, UPSD, which is the Turkish Association of Professional Artists. And I've been president for 16 years and I was one of the founders of that association back in 1989. I was one of the seven founders of that association. And since 2015, I've been also world president of the International Association of Art, which is an official partner of UNESCO, which is the uh, central cultural uh, worldly program of the United Nations. And uh, I have uh, asked myself a question back in 2010, 2011, I said to myself, hey, there is Mother's Day, Father's Day, uh, Love Day, uh, there is uh, Peace Day, uh, there is a day for everything, Mother's Day, Father's Day, and how come there is no World Art Day? So we checked, we checked in Google, uh, we checked in books, we checked our memories and we said, is it possible? How come there is no World Art Day? So I asked my executive committee at UPSD, where I'm, I'm the president of the Turkish Artists Association, and they also checked, and uh, my friends checked, my wife checked, and none of us could find a trace of World Art Day. So there was going to be the general assembly of uh, the International Association of Art in Mexico, the city of Guadalajara. And as I was gonna go there as the Turkish representative, the Turkish president, we decided that we were going to make a suggestion. We said, we took a decision among ourselves. It was not an easy choice to make, but we said that uh, the birthday of Leonardo da Vinci, the 15th of April, is a good day because spring is a good time. And 15th of April, we will suggest it as World Art Day to the General Assembly of the International Association of Art. And I, will, I was going to explain them why. So we flew to Mexico uh, and then to Guadalajara. And in Guadalajara, uh, the first day of the General Assembly, I gave the speech. Uh, and before giving the speech, I had many other association presidents sign this petition of my suggestion. This suggestion being, uh, let's have April 15, Leonardo da Vinci's birthday as World Art Day. So many other countries signed, like about 10 countries signed that petition. France, China, uh, Slovakia, uh, Greece, Cyprus. And at the end, I gave that speech. I said, Leonardo da Vinci, not only he's a painter, not only he's a sculptor, not only uh, he's a big innovator, an anatomist, uh, a philosopher, uh, a poet, a thinker. He has so many qualities that he doesn't get old. He stays constantly update and it's as if he was always a contemporary person. There is no artist from today who would think that Leonardo da Vinci's brain is outdated. So because this is such a um, rich personality, when I suggested that April 15, Leonardo da Vinci's, uh, Leonardo da Vinci's uh, birthday as World Art Day, nobody said no and it was accepted unanimously. Everybody clapped, everybody clapped and it was accepted in Guadalajara in 2011. It was about 
the 2nd of April that it was accepted. Uh, 2nd of April, 2011. Then for seven, eight years, every year, all the international art associations around the world in different about 70, 80 countries, they celebrated World Art Day. So uh, it was a great joy for me because thinking that it was an idea that came from Turkey that was spreading so much and it was making everybody uh, very happy uh, to see uh, an international day for the arts so that uh, all the world cre most creative persons would get together on that same day and cheer and make uh, some sort of street festivals, exhibitions, conferences on April 15. And if it was not enough, April 14, April 16. But as the center of all the activities, April 15. So this was a big pleasure. But in 2018, I said, well, this is not enough. We must go and talk to UNESCO and uh, this must become a UNESCO International Day. So uh, I wrote a letter to the uh, director, general director of UNESCO, and uh, I said that we want to make World Art Day a uh, UNESCO Nash International Day officially. So I'm not going to tell you everything we did because it took a long time. It took us almost 14 months from August 2018 to uh, end of November, end of November 2019. So it took us about 15, 16 months. And in those 15, 16 months, uh, there was so many correspondence, so many letters we wrote to UNESCO and to different countries and to the Turkish ambassador in UNESCO uh, because he was directly involved, of course, because the idea comes from Turkey. Although I was world president, I I'm a Turkish artist. And also the ambassador of Mexico because it was first accepted in Mexico in 2011. So they took the leadership of suggesting this to uh, the General Assembly of UNESCO. And I, uh, I went there uh, uh, with my general coordinator and we made some very important diplomatic appointments with different ambassadors of different countries and uh, this is called, as you know, lobbying. We lobbied for that idea. We convinced people why it was important that the world should have a World Art Day celebrated by UNESCO. So finally, after all our relations, uh, the General Assembly of UNESCO first the executive committee took that decision unanimously in UNESCO, and then the general conference took that decision unanimously. We were so extremely happy in Turkey to receive this news that finally, after uh, almost uh, eight and a half years of effort, World Art Day now had become uh, UNESCO International Day that was going to be celebrated worldwide officially by all countries, all artists. And of course, it was a great pleasure that the idea had originated in Istanbul. Um, so what I would like to tell you is that you must learn to dream big. If you think about an idea and if you think even if it's an idea that's going to touch the whole world, never say, oh, who am I to do this? Take it seriously. Take yourself seriously. And don't be ever afraid of trying your big ideas. Dream big, think big, and trust yourself. Don't forget 
that we are the children of Mustafa Kemal Atatürk in this country. And we have a lot of capacities and you know how much he trusts the Turkish youth. So you are really uh, the main corpse of uh, the central characters that where he puts this great belief. Trust yourself, trust your ideas, trust your creativity, and don't ever forget to celebrate art all your life, no matter what your profession will be. Even if you're a doctor, even if you're an architect, an engineer, a businessman, a musician, a sports person, um, even if uh, you do any other profession in the world, it doesn't matter. Art will always feed you and you will feel much more in harmony with yourself and you will be a much more creative person in everything you do in life if you are constantly watching films, if you are having nice paintings in your walls, in your uh, home or in your business, if you are listening to some great music, uh, if you are going to operas, theaters, all this will make you a great, rich person. Uh, I love you very much. I hug all of you and uh, I trust you that you will all become very creative, young spirits, no matter what you uh, decide for your life. All the best. Hugs to you. Bye-bye.